the total solar eclipse could offer some amazing views. Could, right? Could. Yes. Could. Mm -hmm. A lot of viewers won't just see a black hole in the sky, weather permitting, some other stars, some planets. Oh, cool. Joining us now, senior science reporter Eric Henriksen. So what could everybody see here? You're going to see some cool stuff. How many times are we going to say weather permitting this morning and for the next Many week? times. I think just it's so gonna, we all are clear. Just so we're all clear. <laughs> weather permitting. So during totality, all the suns will be blocked by the light. All the sun's light will be blocked by the moon, allowing us to see everything in the sky as long as the weather cooperates. And during this eclipse, all of the planets in our solar system will actually be visible. So I made this animation here to show you what it looks like. Looking southeast, you're going to see Jupiter. Next to Jupiter, you might actually be able to see a comet passing through our solar system. Further to the southeast, Uranus will be visible only through binoculars, though. So you're going to need binoculars. Now, if you go south, southwest, you're going to see Venus. That'll be very, very bright, easy to spot. Mars, Saturn, and Neptune, you'll need binoculars or good night vision to spot those. Now, Mercury is up here, too but it won't be super bright and pretty hard to see. Laura Aikens with the University of Texas says that one trick amateur astronomers use to observe stars during an eclipse, use an eye patch. While they're setting up their equipment, they'll put an eye patch on their main observing eye, let it go ahead and dark adapt so that when they get everything set up, they're ready to go and they have an eye that is, you know, ready to go for, for eyepiece observing. You know, pirates did that too, by the way. Tip. <laughs> Here's a closer look at that animation. One thing you need to be careful about is when you're observing, only look through your binoculars or telescope during totality. Yes. If you look during a partial eclipse, which is the moment before gonna and after, you're going to need an eye You're going to need an eye patch yourself. For real. You're going to go blind. One. And again, of course, this is only if the weather cooperates and everything's good. We know. So fingers yeah. crossed. Uh, even like some light clouds, you should still be able to see everything. So if it's just let partially cloudy, and because you don't need to look, it's not just the middle spot. It's you know the whole night sky. Mm -hmm. So if there's a little cloud passing over the eclipse, but the rest of the sky is visible, you should still be able to see the stars. Mm -hmm. That's good. So pretty cool. I mean that's reassuring in a way. Yeah, it's positive. <laughs> yeah, thin clouds. We're looking thin for thin, thin, clouds. thin clouds. Yeah, yeah, thin clouds. Those cirrus clouds are going to be our best bet, I think. So